Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at how I mark up my Kindle books. Because while I do have um, a lot of books uh, around, physical books, I still also read on my Kindle. Like last week when I was away on vacation. And I took my only... Ah, that's not true. I took two physical books. I took Deep Work and... Um, what's the other one? The War on Normal People, I think it is, by Andrew Yang. I think that's the other one. Uh, I took both of those. I didn't get to them at all. Um, because it's just harder to pull out my post-it notes, pull out a sticky note, pull out a pencil, and then do all of that, say, at the beach when I'm with the kids. And simply highlighting, making notes on my Kindle is an easier thing to do. So I read three, maybe four books last week, mostly laying on the beach and napping while the kids played. We're going to go over one of those today. So before we get started, there are two ways you can support the channel, make sure stuff keeps coming. Number one is to go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale and just support the channel. Number two is to go to Skillshare and take one of my courses, um, which I have one right now. It'll be a second one coming up in the next next few weeks. Um, and you can do that by going to uh, curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare. That's what it is. Um, right now I have a course on Tick Tick and I have one on time blocking coming up, which I'll be working on. I'll be live streaming videos of me doing the research for it even, I think. Buckle up. Let's look at my Kindle notes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got Obsidian on one side and I've got Devon Think on the other and I've emailed myself the, um, the exported the notes via my Kindle just with their standard export feature. So the first thing I need to do is actually need to go to this and I need to go. So because Obsidian is Electron, it doesn't actually use the native text features in um, Mac OS. Uh, and this is by Andy Steiger. Is that his name? There you go. Actually, no, Andy. I put his deck on once. We're going to do it together. And then his wife um, got pregnant. Is what I was going to say. No, his wife started to have their baby um, the night before. I said, ah, I'll just do it. And he sent a friend over to um, help me move his barbecue. And I just did it for him. I don't hang out with him much now. Like it's been a couple, it's probably been a decade since we've hung out, but I did do his deck once. Um, and he bought me an angle grinder for it, which is nice. Anyway, um, so we're just going to go through this and start taking notes. Um, now I usually do, and I actually will go back and do this still. I do an intermediate step here of putting them in my physical notebook because I think it is important to filter your stuff that way. I'm not going to do it today because then you'd be watching me like write on a notebook and that would take way longer. And we're ultimately looking for my markup stuff. So one of the first things I do is, and most of them have a, a double semicolon in front is tag, right? So I'm going to tag this as dehumanize. I'll put that over here. I can probably go with dehumanization works too. Um, and that's at lock 148. So that's the first one right there, right? Uh, I'm going to skip some of these things. I'll come back to them later. Another one is structure. So this is the structure of the book right here. So that means I want to take that um, probably under the key ideas summary. Uh, so I'll actually put uh, bold here. I should just put this heading like right in my thing, right? Right, so he does addresses the four fundamental questions of humanity, which I'm going to write down. What is a human? What is the value of human life? Live. How should humans live? So, about humanity, chapter, so the first chapter addresses why living without God in this 
text is dehumanizing and is okay. So that's it right there. Structure. Now I should actually refer to my notes. Let's see. We have them right there. Purpose, right? Structure, tag, and book. Those are the ones. I don't think I have purpose in here. It's kind of the purpose right in here too, though, right? The purpose is built in in this one where it says, well, let's see if I have purpose everywhere else. Nope. Doesn't look like it. So I think in this one, the purpose is built right in with this argument, right? And then I put in the purpose as, but I will tag that if there's like a specific, lots of books have a specific, like here's the purpose of my book. Here's what I'm gonna do. And then a separate, Here's the structure, how I wrote it. Um, I got that out of How to Read a Book by Adler, Mortimer Adler, I think it is. It's on my back shelf. I've recommended it a bunch of times. But uh, so I'm going to put the purpose in here to show that So it's to show that living without God is dehumanizing, or at least leads to dehumanization, makes it easier um, for people to be dehumanized. And that living with God under the edicts of God um, leads to dehumanization. No, it leads to humanization. Uh, there you go. So that was backwards. Anyway. Um, and so then I would just work through each kind of chunk and, and write notes as I go. Um, and I'd put them in the summary. Um, I don't use a lot of the other things anymore. Honestly, I just use, like, I don't use the key ideas as much anymore. I just kind of fill it all into one spot. Even the quotes, I don't do that anymore. So I need to adjust my template clearly. Um, but let's look through what else we have here. So tag worldview, moral ecology, right? So that's another one. I know I have a moral ecology note. Moral ecologies, that works. So lock uh, 264. So that's just a note. If I'm looking at moral ecologies and I want to look up, you know, this book um, or some more uh, on it, then I can actually just go back to this book and say, what did it say in this specific section on moral ecologies, right? Uh, and then the other one is book. So you've been publicly shamed as a book. Um, so you've been... And I actually now do the... Settle cast and prefix or suffix, I guess I use it. And it is 0644. And that's at lock 318. In this case, I'm actually going to go and put in the title here and just make a note. So I don't always do that. Um, what I want to see with my keeping track of books is, do I have like seven or eight or nine books that refer to this other book that I haven't read? And that's where I would go to the graph view and start to see things like that. What else do we have in here? I think that's it. David, oh, that's right. I want to look up what book this is. So that's why I even, um, I'll come back to that and like I'll actually look it up when I'm taking notes. Uh, even if I'm writing them down, I would look it up. I would look that specific thing up on my iPad or on my Mac when I'm working and take a look at it, All right? And you see, I've got other notes about the second mountain, but I'll move those later. Noma, which is non, oh, what is it? I've got it in here, I should have it in here. Noma, there you go, non-overlapping magisteria. Got that out of the God delusion. Um, the idea that science speaks to one sort, sort of thing and religion to another and the realms and in the realms that they have authority, there's no overlap. Okay, let's go back. Let's go to uh, reclaim. So that's probably a NOMA argument, since I'll actually take notes on that and reference it, right? Tag community is in here as well. At block 639. Eugenics is in there as well. I already have a tag on that lock. 
is five. Book the pass passing of the great race can go in there. Filter bubbles will go in here as well. And the other one I want in there is confirmation bias at lock 57. We got tribalism and community. Sorry to have community up here, so I'll just put a comma up here and put it in again at lock nine uh, 67. And then I'll put in here we got tribalism is already in there at lock nine 67. Transhumanism, that's another one. I want to look that one up. So since I know I really want to look that one up later, I'll actually just come into here and do uh, to summarize. And I'll be able to tell later on when I'm in here, I can open up my sidebar. I can see what links to it. All right, I can see that links uh, reclaimed links to that later. And I can hear them warming up the excavators next door now. I hope you can't hear that. All right, book empty planet is another one. really it. I think we've hit them all now. Let me check my notes again. Did we hit them all? Yep. Purpose, structure, tag, book. So that's really it. Um, that's what I do when I'm using a Kindle book um, as the thing I'm reading at the moment. I focus on those four tags, structure, purpose, uh, book, and just a tag to tag that section. Um, sometimes it, like when I was at the beach, I just highlighted everything. Sometimes I will tag it actually, but then I'll actually pull up my phone sitting on my couch behind me and tag the actual note at the same time. So that I just have it done right there. Cause I'll tag it in one writer off my phone. That's it. That's how I mark up my candle books. That's how I deal with the notes and get them into obsidian. Uh, ultimately, if you liked the video, you can give me a thumbs up below. If you loved it, you can subscribe, then hit the bell and YouTube will let you know what's happening in theory, and, and you can watch the videos. And the other ways to support the channel are to go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale and support the channel, or to go to uh, curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare, where you can take my course on TickTick, and you can watch my upcoming course on time blocking. Have an excellent day.